Research methods. Research methods can be broadly divided into two categories, quantitative methods and qualitative methods. Quantitative methods are methods that collect data which can be numerically quantified, that is, counted or categorized mathematically. Here are some examples of quantitative data, gender, height, age, income, population size, etc. Qualitative methods are methods that yield subjective data which cannot be numerically quantified. It provides data that give insight into people's feelings, attitudes, perceptions, and motives. Here are some examples of qualitative data. A population's perception of government policy towards poverty alleviation or crime. Feeling of security or integration within a particular society or social group and a mother's preference for a particular brand of baby formula. It is useful to note that researchers can quantify qualitative data. How? By numerically categorizing the social groups from which these descriptive data have been sourced. Here's an example. Research was conducted on flood victims' perception of the government's response to the natural disaster. 35% of flood victims felt that government response to the natural disaster was efficient. 73% of flood victims felt that the government was not prepared to deal with the effects of the extreme flooding. Victims' feelings of government efficiency or preparedness provide qualitative data, an insight into the emotions of the individuals undergoing this particular duress. Feelings are subjective and cannot be measured. However, a researcher can ascribe value indicators of efficiency, which can then be measured. These indicators may be response of first responders in terms of flood victims' wait time from the moment of calling for help to the arrival of rescue teams, or the provision of basic supplies such as food, water, and blankets in a timely manner. To summarize, we've learned that quantitative research captures quantity, that is numerical data, and qualitative research captures quality or descriptive data. We also learned that qualitative data can be ascribed measurable value indicators, which can then be numerically categorized.